welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1243 hours on July 8th, 2013, and it's time for viewer mail. What do we got? We got a little packet from Toy Sonics. I don't know what it is, but anything from Toy Sonics has to be. I wonder what Toy Sonics is. This isn't actually a viewer mail. This is something I ordered. Rocket engines! Rocket engines! C6 zeros. Comment in with what that means that it is a C6 zero. There's your trivia for the day. I hate, I hate these. The ones that are, it looks like mice have been living in there. Go another layer down. Oh my god, who sent this? I know what that is. Oh, oh it's Thumper Food. Look at that. Flammable solid. Flammable solid! This is magnesium ribbon. And yes, it is a flammable solid. It's a class D fire. I'll put it right next to the rocket engines. Who sent that in? IRC. Who, who sent in the uh, magnesium ribbon? I don't have a name on it. There's no note. We have, this is from Trevor Lockley, who has a fragile stamp. I need a fragile stamp. I would totally go around and stamp people as fragile. And he used medical tape. It's fragile. It's a bit, wow, holy shit. Thank you, sir. Please tell me that's what's in there. That'll be so awesome if it is. Or is this just an amazing troll? No, it's a brand new Ventrix 2 solid state drive. That is going to the video team. Unless there's a specific home you have in mind for it, let me know. But 120 gig solid state drive, that's sexy. Thank you. Amazon box! We got. Oh, somebody commented in, uh, they were asking, what is the knife that I use in the viewer mail? This is a, <laughs> this is a Gerber artifact. Glory! Glory and victory! Vegemite! This, right here, is Australian healthcare. Okay. Brody, come here, come here. Have you ever had Vegemite? Yes, this, this is what makes Australian people talk the way they do. I'm aware of what Vegemite is. Do you know exactly what it is? Do you? Yes. Okay. It's a yeast extract. Oh. This is, when you're making beer. <laughs> Good dodge. When, when you're making beer, okay. That was supposed to be a joke. Out of one side of the factory comes kegs of beer. Out of the back door comes the precursor to Vegemite, pretty much. Mm. It is quite possibly the healthiest substance known to God and man. This is the kind of thing that you would live on. Mm. Put, put, that does smell like... Uh, about that much on your finger. That's all you want, just about that much. Because you don't want a lot of it, it'll kill you. This is, this is consumed in tiny amounts. Okay, put a little tape on your finger. You can see the level of trust he has in you. It's really salty, but kind of sweet. And it's really, it's, it's like molasses cookies. It's, it's one of those, that, it's an acquired taste. Oh, my lid's off. But, Vegemite. See? <laughs> you put this on toast really, really thin. Really thin. Like, for me, about half a millimeter. They put the energy in calories. Nobody labels it like that. What they use? Kilocalories? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, it's metric. It's Australian. They really, they did it. In... They actually used proper, the energy in kilojoules and kilocalories. Yeah. Per 100 grams, the energy in this 
is 790 kilojoules, 189 kilocalories. He's going to be smacking his per lips four, all day the now. The serving size is 4 grams. Okay. Per 4 gram serving, 32 <laughs> kilojoules. It's like putting peanut butter in a horse's mouth. It's great. This, <laughs> this is why Australians don't need chemotherapy. This is all they use. Okay. Vegemite. That's going to live right there. It's my Vegemite. You can have some anytime you want. It's really good on toast. Toast, really thin. It's good. So what's the, what's the IRC saying? They're, they're loving it. I have a big box from Trevor Lockley. Didn't he just send us a box? He sent us a little box. I wonder what's in the big box. Trevor, we got to talk about packing tape versus medical tape. <laughs> People are going to wonder about you. Anyone else? Solid can state drive. <laughs> this is a motherboard. It's got to be a Rocco thing because it's a motherboard. It's got memory on it. It's got a CPU on it, and the CPU is. It's a 3.8 gigahertz Xeon. It's got uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, probably 12 gigs of RAM. This might be something for the video stuff. I don't know. We got a serious motherboard and a really good hard drive down there. I think this is stuff for the live stream. Guys? Huh. Okay. I don't know. But. It's stuff. It's and I don't know what's going on. It's got to be a Rocco thing. I am not aware. That's it for viewer mail. All right. Let's get to work. It's gonna be a pretty boring day today. Lots of painting and trash. So not terribly exciting, but I'll do what I can. So you guys have fun. We will have more after this by a quarter. Here at the Geek Group, we've invented a new fundraising strategy. You can now purchase impressively tiny coins we've compressed using high energy magnetism. We induce a current pulse of 100,000 amps into a copper wire coiled around a golden dollar dime or quarter, producing very powerful opposing magnetic fields that compress a quarter to the diameter of a dime, which you then receive in a lovely commemorative package along with the satisfaction that can only come from helping the Geek Group build our endowment, which in turn will allow us to put membership fees, donations, and sponsorships towards furthering the organization rather than just maintaining it. Carry a lightning bolt in your pocket, available at thegeekgroup.org. What you doing, Batman? Making this safe for travel on the highway. So we got to cut all the long stock down. Yep. I just got to take the appliances off because they don't take those at the dump. No, we can take those for scrap metal. Right, right. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself. Hey, Batman. I got an idea. What? We got a steady rest. Yeah. You got that big gray thing with the roller? I got a one that's actually for chops off. Yeah, but that's way too close and short. You need that roller one out about six feet. I have a red one. A big gray one's for round stock. So okay. I know how to do this without the steady rest. You wanna know the secret to how to do that without the steady rest? Cut it in half first, balance it on there, cut it in half. That's what I'd do. I'm a solutions provider. Can I get me like Max or someone out here who's not doing anything? Alright, I'll see if I can. Alright. 1631 hours. Mike's back here causing a ruckus. <laughs> what, you're double fisting painting? Just getting rid of the last out of the trays. So okay, you gotta get the little bit up there. You, you got some edging to do. Or are you just gonna do that by hand? I'm touching that. Too, as I noticed, we missed spots. Okay. Yeah, so, how were the two volunteers today? Good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. All right. They um, could probably use your painting lesson, but the, you should show them the video. They did good. Show them the video. They did good. Okay. Um, this is this is like there. I'm really happy with this. Cool. We got it. See this? The little white spots. Yeah. 
That's Starfield. I need to load these back up. You need to load that back up. Alright, you do that. I'm going to show people uh, electronics. So we got electronics done. I actually got to help a lot on that. I, I did a non-trivial portion of the painting in there. I was pretty happy about that. And then I had to go have a big meeting with uh, Adam Bird and a very important person whose name I'm not allowed to talk about yet. But I'm sure you'll know their name by the time it's all said and done. Um, painting stage one is totally done in electronics. All the gray is done. I even did out here. Look at that wall. See? We're keeping the wall because the wall gives me an outlet here, which is handy in the hallway. I painted here, too. Um, and all the way around. And look at that. All the gray is done, and it's quite lovely. But it also gives me, by having this wall here, I have that outlet there, which gives me space for workbench, charging station, stuff like that, which is good. We need that. So, yeah, there you go. First round of painting is done in here. And as soon as this is dry, this, I don't think, well, some places will need a second coat, because you can see we have Starfield right here, the evil Starfield. I hate that. We need deeper nap rollers. It's a bitch to paint. But uh, it's getting there. And as soon as this is dry, I'll do the blue down low. I might, I might get that done today. I'm going to try. And if I get that done today, I'm a day ahead of schedule. And I like being a day ahead of schedule because that shit never lasts. So if you can, whenever you can jump a day ahead of schedule, it's a good idea to do that. So we'll be back. See you. I'll have to check this out. Oh, with the, the, I didn't get to check it out the other way. Oh, did I have it upside down? Yeah. Oh. Shit. If you want to start on a fresh piece, I'm kind of doing no, it. Cool, but watch. When you want to spin this over, put the knob on the side here, you press the red thing. Ah. Uh, you put it straight up to spin it, and then you put it back here for a hammer. Okay. Yeah, I was already on hammer. I never. <laughs> yeah, you were. I did it over here. Yeah. This is good enough, this is not, okay? Yeah. So what I think we're gonna do is we'll do the whole room this way, and then we'll do the whole room this way. And we do everything twice, but it goes so much faster, it's still way faster. Oh, I kinda of already started doing that. I started crisscrossing them across. Yeah, if you crisscross it, it works out all right. I didn't really have a system yet, I was just Anywhere I see this, I get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. Just okay. down to like this and we're cool. And then after that, we might give it just a light scraping manually and we'll be totally set. But yeah, that's, that's definitely an improvement. Hitting it twice is the way to go. That machine uh, is like, uh, it gets a little more tired quick with this big cutter. This? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty warm. But, look at the area you're getting. Yeah. So. Cool. Alright, well, keep at it. Alrighty. 
I and figured while it was resting, maybe I'd go help them. Yeah, while it's resting, we can, we can do painting in uh, high energy. Yep. Okay. Alright, here. Um, Hopefully I did a good camera job there. <laughs> Good what? Camera, cameraman. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, hey, when you do this, yeah. Zoom is not your friend. Don't touch Zoom. I just did. Yeah, don't, don't okay. touch Zoom. Don't touch Zoom. Zoom is bad. Zoom is not your friend. Is You're, it digital it's, Zoom or is it? No, not? it's 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 not our Zoom. But Zoom is not your friend. Don't touch Zoom. If I really want to zoom in on something, I got lots of pixels. I can do that in post. Okay. And I've been making blogs for years. Never done it. Okay. I can. I just don't. Zoom is not your friend. Okay. <laughs> Uh, see, I wanted to show you stuff in here, but I can't show you stuff in here because there's music playing. And whenever there's music playing, YouTube's going to get its panties in a twist. So here's what's going on in here while I'm talking over the music that you can't hear. Okay. So that's where we're at right now. We'll be back with more. You're painting. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. We got primary paint done for electronics and wood shop. We could do blue in there later on. I, I, I only got one gallon of blue, though. Huh? Yeah? Yeah, it's, it was like, yeah. Okay, you could do more in there. If, if Can this be blue? What, the, the, the thing? Yeah, totally. I want it to be blue. I'm very okay with that. Okay. We'll paint that, but I gotta get more of the ink blue because we're out. Um, so I'm not painting the so I want it to be blue. Oh. Okay. You can do that. And this should be blue? It should be blue. Okay. okay. Rock out. I learned how to run a machine shop. Set up an enterprise level server. Program nine foot robots. Make lightning! Edit video. I'm building a radio station. Light bulb terrarium. A high performance electric car. I'm a CNC geek. Computer geek! Robot geek. Physics geek. AV geek. I'm a radio geek. Craft geek. Car buff. No matter what kind of geek you are, we've got a place for you here at the Geek Group. Come join us. We build awesome.